Welcome to Africa Sportsman Show. At the back here, here you can see the beautiful Natal province. We in between two small towns called Vasbank and Dandia. Chris, I'm standing here with uh, you and Jurgens. You're from um, Hello Africa Hunting Safaris. Guys, thanks for the invite this week. Um, we're early in 2021. It's a nice and cool morning, but uh, yeah, summer hunting in uh, in uh, in South Africa is not is not uh, it's not an easy thing, eh? Going in these mountains with the heat. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's but it's a nice time of the year to actually hunt the, the trophy kudu bulls because they come out into the open. I think they they move out of the the thick bush into the open areas. It's easier to see them. Yeah, and that's that's exactly why you guys invited us on this hunt. You know, um, yeah. traditionally um, in South Africa we hunt during winter months. I think firstly because of the heat, then obviously the calving seasons and and whatever has, has got a big influence on that. But but it is unpleasant to hunt in the heat, but exactly what you said, that's why we hear the, the bulls move in groups from this time of the year that's it, yeah. up until April, May, am I right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so you say it's 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 one of those times in the year where it's really special to hunt them, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's special because they get into groups 10, 20 yeah. together and you can you can pick and choose. Yeah, yeah form bachelor groups and so on, and, and yeah, it's... Uh, Jurgens, you guys, uh, you guys have, have been hunting together for a couple of years and, and you'll be doing the hunt today. Yep. Um, Tell us quickly, um, I mean, we, we in this, I mean, tens of, I would like to say hundreds of thousands of hectares, but I mean, tens and tens of thousands of hectares in op in totally open, let's call it free range area. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly cattle farms and so yeah. on that we're hunting, so total free range and yeah, it's no high fences and so on, so it makes yeah, it's, it's, it's unique. A, it's, it's unique and it's a big privilege, you know, to be able to hunt areas like this, and uh, I mean, especially a species like a kudu, I mean, they... They, they, obviously, you know, yeah. they can go anywhere. So it's not, it's not easy to locate them. I mean, we've been scanning some mountains this morning. We had a coffee nice and early there at your, at your beautiful lodge. So we drove up to this, this mountain here. This is where the road ends, and uh, we'll be going on foot from here. Eh? Yeah. And then scanning. I mean, we'll be scanning a couple of, a couple of mountains here, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah. I mean, there's no recipe with kudu hunting. Eh? No, <laughs> just waiting game, eh? We just need to wait for the sun to get out here to, to pick up a little bit. Yeah. And they will start moving. Yeah, we've they been blessed with some with some great rains over the whole country. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we, we arrived in the rain yesterday. When we shot in the rifle, it was it was also still drizzling. So yeah. like you guys said, um, this morning, we saw some kudu cows now. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we, we, we're looking for those big herds of bulls. And as the sun as the sun dries and, and, and you know peeks through these these clouds, we'll we'll be able to locate them when they start moving. Yeah. That's, it. That's, That's it. it. As it warms up, we'll see them moving. So, right. yes. let's up get for the best. Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> We saw, we saw, we've been glassing now for just over an hour. The sun is not through yet, but oh. right there at the back, um, it's shining up the Dragonsburg pretty nicely. But I mean, that's that's far. <laughs> but we've been scanning this area now. We've seen a number of kudu. Yep. And now in that open area, I don't know if the camera can zoom, zoom up to there, but in between these two mountains, there's an open patch there. We saw one bull. It's impossible to judge, it to, from, to, yeah. to judge the size, but <laughs> you can see with the behavior and you can see the horns. The horns yeah. um, uh, and and you described last night this time of the year is it the flies so they are eating these yellow these yellow flowers, flowers from the sweet torn from the acacia sweet, sweet yeah. torn acacia yeah and and that sticks to their to their faces yeah. and then the flies bother them, bother them so yeah. you see, you'll see a kudu bull standing absolutely still and the next moment he's just running for nothing yeah. and that's to get away from get the flies get away from the insects yeah. okay <laughs> right i think that's what happened there and there's a couple of other kudu we don't know if it's bulls or not yeah. a couple yeah, of hundred, way back yeah, yeah. So, um, but we've seen some good kudu activity. We've seen something you don't see every day oh, yeah. is those three jackal the playing. Jackal eh? playing, yeah, that's pretty unique, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, we've the sun is starting to warm up. You can already feel, and um, yeah, so hopefully the sun comes out, so it warms up, and that's when the kudu will start moving into the open yeah. areas. So, so Jurgen, those those kudu we saw there, 
I mean, there's only one way to get there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. From here, for sure, we're gonna have to walk. But yeah, like I said, there's a big open plain here, just behind this. Okay. So you want to scan that first? So we're gonna head in that direction. Yeah. The thing is, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're gonna stay in that area this time of the year. So. Okay. Because they don't move much during the day. They mostly li lie down on the tree or in the open area, like you see there. Well, that's a good two or I was walking to there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So what we'll do is we'll hunt our way that side. Yeah. So you never know what you're gonna get I between yeah. yeah and there. So yeah. Okay, so Stefan, this is where we started this morning glassing from. So we didn't see much around here. So the kudus we've seen is more far away. Over, so. over this mountain, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we'll move this way and hunt our way slowly that side and uh, yeah. Uh, get just spots and, and just clouds. as it's heating up, there's a cloud or two coming in again, but it's nice and humid. You guys, I see you already got a tick or two there on your legs. Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> Extra protein, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Let's see from here, we have quite a few good tracks. Here you can see this pretty big bull track here. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can clearly distinguish between a, a, a cow and a, a cow and a bull, oh, but yeah. the cows that those cow tracks looks you know, it looks a little bit older than the bull track. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are a bit older. This was probably last night heading up this way. Yeah. And you say this is the I mean this is the, the flower we spoke yeah, about this morning. The, yep. That they eat, you yeah, know, that, that, that gets stuck around the their faces. Yeah, and that attracts the insects to them, all that nectar on them now. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, at least there's a lot of movement here, so yeah. let's see what we can find. I mean, not that we're following these tracks, it's just the amount of good activities. Incredible. Yeah, right? it's incredible. Yeah, and this bull tracks again, so they're heading the direction we're going, so yeah. that's maybe a good thing. Wind 
sounds good, so we'll sneak up and see what we have there. So Perfect. what I think is we just keep left, so we have the wind with us as well. We just have to watch out for that young bull that we saw first. Yeah, there may be even more there. We haven't seen him again. He yeah. must be behind these bushes. Somewhere. Exactly. And then obviously those big herd of cows yeah. next to the left. We need to watch out for yeah. them as well. So we'll move through this cover here and see okay. how close we can get and have a good look. By the looks of it, it's about 8 to 10. Very nice bulls. Yeah. That's looking good. So let's go have a closer look. Some more bulls to the left. It's a very big herd. There's two more sticking out there. Getting behind these bushes. just looking, waiting for him to stand up and so we can judge him better from the front and so, but yeah, let's see. Okay, he stood up now and yeah. there's a cow right behind him on my angle. Okay. Um, and yeah. there's two more cows feeding in that dead tree there at the back. Yeah. Um, We've double checked the horn length and, and the shape and we're happy with that. You just want to double check the age, am I right? Yeah, I just want to make sure, but he's, so far he looks good. I just want him to turn his head this way at least. Big bodied bull, eh? Yeah. He's walking right away from us now. Yep, that's him. I need to be no, honest. He's, he's an old bull, we can take him if we have a I shot. I need to be on the second line on my scope. The other bull is in front of him now. Yeah, let's just wait for a broadside shot. Are you happy with that bull, Jörgen? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful bull. Okay. I'm gonna... Okay. Just wait for him to stand still. Just wait, there's one behind him. Okay, I'm off safe. Okay, if you have a shot, you can... <laughs> Take 
this new cow here? Yes, sir. Can I have the sticks? Well done, Stefan. That's a beautiful bull. Eh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some buck fever there, eh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I suddenly started to doubt the first shot. Um, it would be. Uh, yeah. the, the first shot was a bit back, I think. It you think had so? a hard thumb. I, so. Yeah, I, I, the wind was from the right, but I decided not to compensate for the wind on this distance. Yeah. I'm smack for the, for the middle of the shoulder, and, but I mean. You know, badly placed shot on a kudu. Yes, my back. <laughs> yeah. Badly least... placed shot on a kudu, you know, he'll, he'll run. That thing was definitely yeah. anchored. Yeah, he's, he was hurt. Well, Jurgens, what a morning, eh? I mean, yes. coming from that other mountain, absolutely blindsiding these uh, these kudu bulls, and um, yeah, and yeah. this is exactly what we explained this morning. Eh? We, we we found them. We saw this cattle fence here at the yeah. at the at the back. We hopped through two fences. I think we two or three properties further down the line already um, yeah but yeah this this old guy he managed I don't know 40 50 paces yeah and, and he, he couldn't make the fence the rest of them are over here and that's what we explained this morning yeah behind me here you can see I mean there's these literally hundreds of thousands of, of hectares where these absolutely magnificent kudu yeah. roam eh? yeah that's like like we said with these cattle fences they move freely yeah. they roam Freely everywhere, yeah, and, and you never know what you're going to expect. Ex exactly. I mean, this this bull can be here today on this property, yeah. and a week later he can be 10, 20 kilometers away. You'll like, never see him again. Like this bull, it's the first time I see this bull, and it's every time you go out, it's like that. You yeah. never know what to expect. Yeah. So, it's a unique country, and we're privileged to hunt. Mm -hmm. No, show. for sure. You explain about the flies, yeah, exactly. as well. Look, I mean, you can just look at this. Out. All the flies, and that's why you would see a bull standing still, and suddenly he'll just take off, running 20 yards, and yeah. then stop again. Yeah. And that's just to get a, try and we, to get we away. And we saw it. I mean, we spent yeah. we spent close to I don't know 45 minutes looking at these bulls this morning, and every now and again you can see one, you know, just fed up, getting up, yeah. shaking it off. Exactly. But listen, congratulations to you and your and outfit. I mean, same. you uh, you promised what you uh, you delivered what you promised. I mean, you guys got us out here to to hunt uh, a big free range kudu in these mountains, and I mean. First you know, you, morning. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you can, every day you can hunt a kudu, but it's not every day you shoot a kudu. And I mean, first first morning uh, we stumbled upon these, and uh, yeah, and what a bull. We're going to put him up for trophy pictures now, but big we'll thank you from my side, Jurgens. You're thank welcome. You. Anytime, my friend. See the see, character on Jurgens, what I, what I could see, um, luckily on that total dead rest we had, on the 18 magnification on, the, on that Leopold scope of mine, yeah. I could see these. You know these. What do you call it? The rifts. Yeah. Yeah, the rifts is the same. It's yeah. a river in Africa, so yeah. I could see them. But I mean, all kudus have them. Yeah. But but the better look you can you can get, you know, the more distinguished these marks can you know become. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, cracks like these and 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 markings like these. I mean, yeah. this is the a character is incredible. This is a splendid. The thing, thing is, like I said, as soon as he stood up, we could see he's a mature bull, yeah. bull and an old bull. So. Nice. And then we saw him quickly from the side and a bit towards us. Nice That's ivory tips as well. Obviously worn off, but I mean... And look at the, the deep curl, especially yeah, on this you, one. Yeah, if you look... Um, and I would like the camera just to check this as well. I mean, yeah. we, we all know it, but there's some hunters out there that doesn't know it. You know, if you look exactly. down the curls of a... Of a kudu, you can see the eye, and then that's how they navigate through the bushes. Yeah, but I mean, and break branches. One hundred percent. And it's and it's 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 a quite nice deep curl as well. Eh? Yeah, and a long. You can see how long this, especially this first curl is. Yeah, and then obviously the second curl as well. Eh? Yeah, very long. Yeah. Now the, it's, it's a magnificent bull, and and, and the awesome. one thing, the one thing we also, you know, the moment we saw him and we sat there and wait, we referred to it many times. But I mean, this this logo of yours. It's quite a, uh, it's got a, you know, it's, it's quite a wide kudu yeah. that you chose for us. This is but I mean, pretty good. Eh? This is this is exactly what we were looking for. Now, yeah. yes, what a bull. Well, guys, 
There's another swarm bees just going over us here. <laughs> the fifth one. Dennis is running like hell. He's the fifth one he saw today. Uh, it's a good sign. Listen, um, Jurgens, uh, dreaming about this, this kudu hunt for the last few months since we started planning it and, and you guys absolutely bowled me out by saying, listen, you need to come as early as possible in the year while it's hot and humid and, and that's when we saw the, you, we see these, these bulls in the bachelor herds. Um, and I mean, this is exactly how it, how it panned out. Eh? Yeah, exactly. And uh, we had good rains. We were very fortunate with that. So that made the trees bloom quicker and get warmer and yeah. so on. So that made the big difference in it. And yeah, the kudus are moving like you saw this morning. Yeah, we, we saw. saw we saw that we saw that herd of cows about I don't know that tree is say about 600, 700 meters from here. They were embedded there. We saw that one small bull. Yeah. Um, you saw the the herd of of the eight bulls in the end and. Uh, I mean, as we made the stalk, we got up on a nice, on a nice uh, uh, Rest, rock yeah. with the with the shooting sticks in front of us, and um, yeah, we started running out of cover there. But <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I mean, we we had a yes, close to an hour, say 45 minutes. Look at them. This guy was continuously looking away, away from us. Yeah. We could not, you know, age it properly and and and, and, and judge it properly and judge yeah. it properly. So we had to to put in the the minutes, and it was, I mean, at a stage you you, you start getting uncomfortable with the time and say, listen. If it's not the right bull, it's not, you know, is it worth waste, wasting two hours here? But I mean, in the end, it was definitely worth it. Oh, yeah. What a spectacular, and, spectacular and bull. He surprised us all in our big years. No, and, no for and sure. And the age, very old bull. And you well. could see how he stood out from the rest of the bulls. The moment he stood up, oh, yeah, you could see sure. his neck. The moment when that one bull in front of him, uh, you know, stood up and, and yeah. took off. Yeah, you we could saw see the side neck, of, yeah. size of the neck, but that was still wasn't enough. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, those cows moved in from here, and when those cows moved through this bull herd, yeah. they started to stand up and got interested and in the he cows. Went to, he went to smell a cow. Hundred percent. Yeah, you could you, you could say um, you know he was he was definitely the dominant bull in that herd. Yeah, but sure. I mean, and that that's what we're trying to promote, you know, in terms of of trophy hunting in Africa. This is the this is the exact specimen to take out. Exactly. I mean, he may, he's maybe has got a year or so left. Yeah. But I mean, this bull must be close to 10 years older, if not older. Yeah, I th and I think, and I think he, he did his part. There's a couple of nice bulls in there. There's two very young ones, which which is impossible, you know, to say how they're going to turn out. But uh, yeah. no, the genes are definitely, uh, you know, it's no, a, it's sure. a it's it, a big thing. Hunting hunting a kudu natal is always yeah. special, and I mean, this and, one is. And like I told you when we sat there as well, um, we we said. If it's not the old bull, we're not going to take it. Yeah. And the thing is, we there's so many kudus here, you can be picky. And that's a big 100%. thing. We, we can really specify on what we want to take yeah. out. So. Listen, Jurgens, from my side, uh, I mean, just look at the view here at the back. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get the scooter out of here. You said we're going to make a road here somewhere. We're, but uh, We're going to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely enjoy the next few, few, uh, few minutes or maybe hours here from my side. A very big thank you. You guys run a smooth operation. Really looking forward to, uh, you know, to get this bull back in the salt. And uh, I'm going to brag about this one for a very, very long time. You're welcome. Thank you Anytime. so much. Thank you so much.